Hello again guys. Right, I was going to do another video for you today. Today we're going to cover the wash roll kit that I've got hold of. I was going to set this up on the desk like the last video I did, but there's a bit of work going on on there at the minute, so we'll have to be moving you over to the uh, photo booth like the first video I made. Right, right guys, so here's the wash roll opened up. Basically all this is is a bit of rubberized material with a couple of bits of string on the end of it. So you could have this and you could lay it out on a table like this or you could have it wrapped around your waist so you can access everything whilst you're having a wash in the field or whatever you'd want to do with it. And all it really is is a bit of rubber material with compartments in it for you to pop in anything that you need. So what we're going to do here now is going to get all of the bits that I have in it out and then we'll uh, get back to it and go through them one at a time. Right guys, so let's just go over what we have inside here one item at a time. This is all reproduction with the exception of the soap tin. So we'll go through this now and see what we have. We've got toilet tissue, we've got a soap tin with soap inside it, we've got a toothbrush, razor blades, the razor, we've got your shaving brush, your shaving foam, your toothpaste, your flannel and your mirror. So this is basically a selection of the items that you would have in it if you'd managed to acquire one of these as a soldier. Nothing really fancy in it at all. I will point out that these flannels, I don't. this is only a reproduction, I don't know what the originals were like but the reproduction ones for actually use are horrible. So I'll put this away and I'll put up each of the items closer to the camera for you to have a proper look at them. Alright, let's start with the little reproduction tissue that I got. This is basically just modern like kitchen roll with a reproduction packet on it. Put it there, hopefully you can see that alright. I think this is substantially bigger than a real one. I'm going to look into that at some point and see if I can replace it with something a bit more authentic. And you've got your little soap tin. These are really handy little items. If I get it to the right side. It's just got a modern soap inside there. The toothbrush. Now I don't think this is particularly accurate. The only American wartime toothbrushes I've seen are all a transparent like green, blue or red. So if I ever come across one I'll swap that out. I also have some bamboo brushes that I might swap that out for. Your shaving brush. That's a pretty nice little reproduction there. It's the little packet for your razor blades. It does have five blades inside it. The razor itself. I'm yet to actually use this, I'll probably cut my neck to pieces when I have a go with it. And then you've got these two refillable tubes. So these come empty and flat and you fill them up and then you roll them at the bottom here. But they look quite smart. It allows you to at least have something that looks pretty good on the field when you're doing something for the public. And there's your milk a dent one. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to find a genuine one of them to use, and if you, if you did, you wouldn't want to use it. And this is a little mirror. There you go, you can see the camera. Hello. So this is from Soldier of Fortune. I think that's a nice little reproduction. There are a couple of other styles I'll probably pick up as well at some point. But this is, from what I can tell, would be the standard one that the infantry would have. Pop that there and then just your flannel. These are a fair size, like I say they're pretty horrible to use. You can see there's some material that's made out of. They do work and they're just not very pleasant. So this is all set up ready for next year's season and hopefully I'll be able to use it in some mornings when there's some public about, get something a bit of living history going on for them. But I don't think there's a lot more to say about it. So that was the uh, wash roll. Just thought I'd give you a little bit, show you how big that is in your hand. That's a quite chunky when it's all filled and rolled up. But you can pop that in your musette bag or your haversack, put it in your bed roll. That won't do too much to change what you can store with it. Everything you need for your washers in there, you just need a basin. So you can just use your canteen cup or your helmet for do that. But I think that's a pretty nice little item. I think this is made out of nylon. I'm pretty sure the original wartime ones would have been made out of canvas, but I'm not 100% certain on that one. Right, just before I go, I have been asked to do 
a video of more detail on the Thompson, just so that you know that is coming. I just haven't going to do it yet. I don't want the uh, channel to become too gun focused. So uh, this will come. I'll sort it out at some point in the next few weeks for you. So that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully that was a good video for you. If you've got any more ideas, things you want to see, ideas that I can do that are beyond just showing bits of kit all the time, then just give me a, a message on the uh, chat and I will sort that out for you. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later.